before I bought the items to build my rig, I first created a plan in Figma. You should also do the same, it's really fun. So let's start with our mining frame. Oops, sorry. So we have it here. Mining frame, I bought it in Lazada for 3,000 pesos. First step, I'm gonna install my motherboard. Pesos. After the mining frame, we're going to install our mining board. I am using mining B250 mining expert. Let's try and get this. Now it's already installed with an i3. This one. I put a connection here that means it's going to be installed in there so this mining board will be installed but with Intel Celeron i3-7000 LG115 our RAM is already installed Put the RAM, it did, and also. So we also have our TP-Link Wi-Fi connected. Oh, there's a USB. I am using this one TP-Link wireless. So as you can see, it will only work if it is Linux supported. Now it's trying to get this thing out very difficult okay. Okay. That motherboard fits perfectly if you move this like this it doesn't goes off okay that we are going to install is Cougar uh, a power supply with 850 watts it has 4 PCIe slots and we'll be using all of them the first slot is for the motherboard the second one is for the riser and the last two is for the RTX 3090 this is my main power supply this is going to support the motherboard and that's all so it has 850 watts Here it is. This is the power supply. Let's take it out. So there it is, the pin, there is 4 PCIe slot, so, okay, let's now try this. I'm gonna position this. So I'm gonna position this right here.
so there was a mistake the title here was fatality it was a different name of the motherboard it should be b250 mining expert now so this motherboard has been it has 19 slots and it has been grouped into eight eight no it has been grouped into three groups so for letter a it has seven slots and b has six and c has six so what i'm gonna do with the cougar i'm going to connect the cougar into letter a for the seasonic prime power supply i will connect it into b so i will show it now Okay, so we have this Seasonic Prime Gold 1300 watts for 14,000 pesos. It has 8 PCIe slots and we'll be using 5 slots. So there are 2 GPU will be connected here. That will be 4, four slots already. And for the 5th one, that's for the riser. So that's all we need.
So this is the 1300 watts and I put some sticker. So here it is. So this two for one RTX 3090, one, two, three, so that's 3390. And this two ports here will support the riser, two, two riser, and this one will support another three riser. So we're gonna be using three riser on the should Position it here. All right, here. So this is the twenty-four pin. Let's try to in here. This one. Okay. And we are going to connect this to the letter B right there this one so the Sonic power supply is at letter B this is letter B this is letter B the Cougar is at letter A so that means letter A the letter A is managing these ports and for the letter B it will be managing this one this one this one this one and this one and this one so we have six slots but we only need three sure. for three thirty ninety so we have here a gigabyte Now that we have our second power supply, we are going to first, the first GPU that we're going to install is the Gigabyte Vision OC 24G. So this is it, it's worth 128k, it's really expensive, I hope I can get my ROI in the next 6 months. So here it is, we will be connecting it with a riser and also will be using a splitter and the other split will be given to the eagle rtx 3090 eagle all of these are gigabyte so we are expecting it will be less than 120 mhs but that's okay because i have my thermal pads ready i will be making another video to how to how to install thermal pad so there it is the digital the RTX 3090 very hard to take it out uh oh okay. there it is sealed oh wait Okay, there it is. The Vigipod. This is the RTX 3090. It's a bit. Hmm. Looks like 3070. Okay, so we have this one here. So I'm using. Verse 009. So. Okay. The X3090 requires 300 watts. Okay, that's two. And another one. And another PCIe wire for the riser. So that's three wires in total.
I will be putting this here so that it doesn't slide. So in this hole right here. Next GPU is another Gigabyte. I'm going to have a lot of work in this. Changing the camera part.
filter or just connect this This is the third GPU. This will be the last to implement. So this is a really cool video card. Okay. This is okay, we don't need all okay. now. I actually already unpackaged this. So I was too excited. This one is really big. Holy shit, this one is so big. This is the most amazing beach card I've seen, but actually, it's just it's gigabyte so the thermal pods are still cheap so there are three three ports you see riser we're using three now let's try to put it
Why is it so bad? I think we're good to go. Okay. okay, good, good, good. Let's put it here at the end. Okay, it's good. So I recently found out that you cannot use a different keyboard for Sonic. So this one is this this wire with us that has sleeve. These ones are from the Sonic. So this one is from the Cougar. I will be detaching this 
because we can't use it or it might cause some trouble they have different pins so I don't want to risk it so I'm detaching all of them no the two wires I'm only using two wires of of the cougar Turn this out also okay now we have taken these two wires in because they're not compatible do not use it let's take it out okay so now that's out we're going to be let's remove this as well okay don't need that Now, I'm going to connect it. Oh, good thing we have three wires left. So, this one 90. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is the gigabyte arrows will be connected to the cougar as well as the PCI eraser and also the motherboard that's so that means we have consumed the four slots of the cougar and so I'm basically transferring it from Sisonic to cougar And this one. There. So we need to also transfer this. Sure. So let's put it here. Anywhere. The final result will be it should look like this pencil red color so what we did was we connected the GPU here and then here we connected the arrows here but we are transferring it to here you guys you guys get it so the gigabyte arrows is connected to power supply A which is the cougar and it should also be connected to the A section this property here is for letter A so since 3090 and the PCI eraser is connecting to this power supply it should also connect to the letter A ports this so we now have our 3090s set up hmm. we have this and the cover don't interchange the wires 
it could cause serious problem now we have this have a high we have our high vision USB 64 gig is it's very cheap now 64 gigs are very cheap now and I bought this who cares you only need 16 gig OS USB I have already mine installed so all I have to do now is plug it in So let's plug this in and here Oh it doesn't fit Okay so this is also my Wi-Fi So I bought this extension wire, it has really thick cable and this the wire is also very thick and it supports 250 watts, 200, 2500 watts, so this one is good. So we have this too. Let's connect it here. And this one as well. Let's put this. This is the cooker. I also bought a watt measuring socket. And I want to predict my electricity bill. We're gonna be connecting the yellow. I bought this switch. Actually, it's it's a package. There's five switch in one package, and I'm only using one. So, two eighty nine is a fair price. This is to switch your motherboard on and off. The yellow is the one that has it has power, so you see this power SW. That's what. This is a smoke detector, so we also have smoke detector just in case. Just right here. I know why it's not working. Okay, then press. Okay, it's moving, it's moving.
there is only three now okay what's going on here hmm oh holy shit what this I believe that's not the cost. Actually, I'm going to use 